I'm gonna show you the best way to remove wax from any surfboard. So I just bought this used fish because the fish I made myself a couple years ago is no longer in very usable condition. With my fish surfboards, I like to use front and rear traction pads, which eliminates the need for wax. But since this board already has wax on it, I need to make sure it's completely removed, otherwise the front traction won't stick to it. So lay your board out in the sun for a few minutes until the wax gets soft. The hotter the temperature, the softer your wax will get. Before we use our special tool, we need to scrape off as much wax as possible. You can use an old credit card or a wax scraper if you have one. All of our twin, thruster, and quad fins come with this wax comb, fin key, bottle opener. Once you have the majority of the wax scraped off, we're gonna use your mom's pantyhose to remove any of the wax your scraper missed. You might have seen this product before. It's called the Pickle Wax Remover. Great product and the packaging is actually really funny. But if you don't want to spend $15 for the pickle, you can make your own with some old pantyhose and flour. Not that kind of flour, you idiot. Baking flour. Oh yeah. So I don't know if anyone actually wears pantyhose anymore, but hopefully you can steal an old pair from your mom or sister or girlfriend or wife. Cut off a foot piece, fill it with flour and tie it off. If you're gonna put traction pads on your board like me, you need every last bit of wax removed. Also, do not use any liquid wax remover. Sticky Bumps sells one, but it leaves an oily residue on your board, which pretty much guarantees that your traction will fall off if you use it. Keep your board in the sun and rub your homemade pickle on your board until all the wax is completely removed. This thing is squeaky clean. Wipe off all the dust with a damp paper towel and you're ready to put your traction on. You can find our traction pads on Amazon or HostEV.com. If you have an old traction pad that you need to remove, don't just rip it off. You could damage your surfboard. There's a special technique to use, so watch this video to learn the proper way.